Welcome to the members area. Appreciate you supporting us. Um, today we're going to be doing some leftover corned beef uh, brisket. It's a point cut, guys. So this is essentially extra juicy. And the point is where all the fat and flavor is, guys. One thing from choosing a uh, corned beef or any kind of brisket is find something with really nice marbling here. See that, guys? Okay. Now this has been obviously brined with a brining solution. There's a lot of salt in it. So uh, one of the first things you're going to need to do is rinse it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rinse it with a lot of water. You want to avoid any kind of splatter. Just kind of give it a nice rinsing, guys, because it's really salty. Uh, and so, with a packet? I did not see a flavor packet in it, huh. no. It probably doesn't need it, really. No. doesn't need it. Um, Let me see. Turn the brisket over and let me see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, really good marble in it. Marble. So again, this is the point. Um, the flat being the more leaner side, you know, it has this really nice uh, fat cap here. Find yourself a towel that the wife uh, and a significant other doesn't mind you using to dry it off. Corned beef isn't going to need a schmear, um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, after we give a few hours of smoke at about 275, we're going to end up putting it into a... Uh, pan and shallow uh, water with beef broth, beef broth and uh, with the vegetables that Sassy picked up. And so the first thing I'm going to use is some coriander. Now don't use anything with salt because it's already got plenty of salt. But I'm going to go with layers. So I'm going to go with the thinnest stuff here and I'm going to go with some coriander. Any. Some black garlic guys. Oh no, I got that at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's, what does it say? So nice and chunky guys. That'll help the uh, bark form. Obviously, who doesn't love garlic, but if you've never tried black garlic, give it a shot. Coarse ground black pepper. And I'm just gonna go about 12 to 18 inches up and just kind of give it a little raining, a little rain. Yeah, okay. just, just put, it, put the bottom part in there, squish it in there and sop it up. Yeah, there you go. Let us know what you think. Is that enough or not enough? You decide. So I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and get the uh, pellet grill going. It's actually started raining again a little bit. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let that set up a little bit and we're gonna go outside and start up the Z grills and get ready to smoke it. Hey guys, I really hope you're enjoying the video. We have a goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers by Christmas. So we'd really appreciate you that you pitch in, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, no obligations. You're not gonna get crank calls or emails. There's a membership section that we just launched. So it's less than a buck a month and you're gonna see videos before they're released to the public and also members only perks like live streams, chats, photos, behind the scenes, stuff like that. Anything else you want them to see. We're gonna do it on the membership side. Thanks a lot, back to the show. Time to get the grill going. I love this. This is so nice. So we're gonna start it. Now this uh, automatically starts at, will bring it uh, temperature up to 275. So guess what? I don't have to do nothing. For now I'm going to uh, leave this open. And you know, as you can see, it's raining out here. This is bad for your grill. Bad, bad, bad. It will rust this beautiful grill. Definitely don't want to be smoking out in the rain. So you want to uh, let it do its smoke out process as soon as you see the so smoke coming up and then you can close the lid, let it come up to its temperature, your desired temperature. In my case, it's 275 and it's already, it starts at 275, so I don't really have to do that. It's smoking. Hear that? That's the fan blowing and the smoke is cleared out. We're ready to close the lid. Let it come up to my desired temperature of 275. And then we'll put this little beast Z grill. Stainless steel beauty. Oh, got some water right here. We have a link in the description. It'll take you right to our store. And you too can have a Z grill. Z grill right there. Where's the gloves? Do I get to use the gloves? Oh. There you go, there's your gloves, baby. Oh.
I'm gonna make a Reuben sandwich with sauerkraut and mustard and sourdough. Nice. Yum. I usually they use rye bread, but I'm not a fan of rye bread. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a sourdough Reuben. All right, guys, so the temperature is right where we need it to be. So the temperature is about 150, 58, 160, and uh, which is fine. Not bad, not bad. And now what we're gonna do is I pre-warmed some broth, in this case, chicken broth, and a little bit of water. And we're gonna go up about halfway radishes, and carrots, and Sassy wants potatoes. So guys, comment down below whether you think uh, we should overfill all this like this. Okay, and Let's then the potatoes. then we're gonna do the cabbage. A little cracked black pepper over the top. Now I'm gonna tint it up. Oh. I'm gonna very carefully walk this over. And you're very. Um... There we go. Okay, I always put a tray underneath in case it overflows a little bit. So you see what time it is. Is it? It's time for barbecue. Wow. So it's been four hours, guys. It's at 300 now. Mm -hmm. So I expect to check it in three more hours, about 6.30. And in the meantime, I got the rubber gloves. So what I say goes. You do have to sleep, you know. All right, guys, how long has it been here? Six and a half hours, guys. Four hours on the smoker and the last uh, two and a half hours in the oven. So we pumped the oven temperature up to 325. And I'm thinking, um, oops. Yeah, drippy, drippy everywhere. It's looking pretty good. I like that the corned beef is Nice and tender, but not like falling apart too badly. Get a nice chunk of this cabbage out of the way. And uh, maybe a little bit more of that cabbage. Cabbage is good, guys. And uh, so I'm gonna take a piece right off here. Nice. Now it's so pink again because it's uh, corned beef. Look at that. That's nice. Oh yeah. Good. Very nice. Look at that. Now this don't look like normal brisket because it's not. Again, this is corned beef. Mmm. Mmm. I'm surprised. And the cabbage, nicely cooked in that broth and that water mix with all those other veggies. It tastes so good. Okay. All right, guys. That's about all we got for you. Hey, thanks for being in the membership. And I appreciate it. Spread the word. Get your friends out there to subscribe. Go to our non-membership side of the channel and be sure to share some videos with your favorite groups. And because if we grow, you guys grow and we'll bring you more cool stuff. So take care. We'll see you later on the next video.